Hey, what's up? I got a message for the youth. Uh, actually, this message is for the black man and woman and the young black girl and boy. But it's really for the youth. Um, how much time do you think we had to keep fucking around, you know, playing with our lives, uh, bullshitting around, you know, being in gangs, uh, going around, taking drugs and shit, uh, disrespecting our women, you know, doing every motherfucking foul thing it is to do, you know, how long do you think we have as a race to get it together? Because as far back as I can remember, black people been struggling. We, we really, you can, you can look at it and say we made progress, but I don't, I don't really see any type of progress. You know, back in the fifties and sixties during the civil rights era, you know, our people's, uh, they marched and protest. They was killed. They was beaten. They was humiliated in public. Uh, they was lynched in public, you know, for people's entertainment, you know, um, they did a lot of things, you know, uh, and that was for the advancement for our race, you know, so we can be able to sit down on buses so we can be able to drink out of water fountains so we could actually just, uh, integrate with, uh, white folks, you know, and, um, yeah, we able to uh, drink out of water fountains and sit on buses and, you know, integrate to a certain degree, you know, but the real problem, the real problem is not, not, not the white man or the white woman. The real problem is us. We are our own enemy. When you look at it, we the ones who exterminating each other. We killing each other daily for what? For nothing. These people do not give a fuck about us. When you join a gang, all you doing is signing up for death or signing up for prison. That's it. Cause that's all, that's, that's the end result, you know? And, uh, you get mad, something happened, you get emotional, you go kill, you go kill the next black man. Now he gone, his family is crying and, and sad. And now here it is, you're going to be gone too because you're going to be in prison. Now you got two families that's sad because two, two, uh, two people they love is gone. You see what I'm saying? Then you got you, you, most of the youth out here, you know, they, they, they being misled, you know, they being raised by television, being raised by video games. You know, dumbass videos with men, you know what I'm saying, portraying to be men that's, you know, homosexuals, shit like that. Um, this, this shit was strate strategically orchestrated for the black man and woman to fail, you know. If you look at it, uh... There's no black man. There's no black man inside the black home. You know? It's probably out of a hundred percent, I'd say probably uh, probably ten percent of black males reside in a home, you know, with their children. Other than that, we either dead, incarcerated, or running around with some other woman. And then on top of that, we're not taking care of our children. We're not being responsible. We're not even protecting our children. We're not protecting ourselves. And we're definitely not protecting a black woman and child. This shit, this shit, this shit has to stop and come to an end, you know? Before we, before we self, we, we self-destructing right now. But before we self-destruct all the way, and there is none, there is none of us. You see what I'm saying? Strung out on Molly, ecstasy, all any any motherfucking type of pill that come out, motherfuckers just want to try it. That's crazy.
you know, addicted to drugs. The youth's minds is gone, you know. Kids don't want to go outside, play no more. I get it, you know. You can't force, don't, don't force your child to do something that they don't want to do. Sometimes something may be wrong, you know. Let them, let them grow up and be a child. But for the most part, you know what I'm saying? A child should be outside playing. Stuck up in the house all the time on the video games. High. That shit is crazy. And then we not, we, we don't even know how to interact with one another. We see another black man or woman, we won't even speak. We just keep, we, we mad dog each other. Look each other in the eye and mad dog each other. Then when we do meet a woman, we, we come at her in a derogatory manner. We don't, we don't, we don't even speak to them correctly anymore at all. We just, we just, it's about, okay, I want to fuck her and that's it. Shit. If she suck my dick, I'm cool with that. You know what I'm saying? I fuck her, her mama, whoever, you know, it's, it's not, it's not about building a foundation. It's not about building a stable family anymore with us. And that's, that's destroying us and tearing us apart. You know what I'm saying? We we have to be able to teach one another and show one another the, the, the correct way on how to live properly. You know, we need to teach the youth about credit, how to get credit, how to get your credit right. So you can so you can buy land and buy property, you know, so you can have something to leave to your children and they can have something to leave to their children, you know. And keep and keep that legacy going, you know. We have to be able to teach the youth how to run businesses, you know, and not just not just a rap business, being a CEO of a of a rap company or or, or something like that, or or some clothing store or or sports being in being in the NFL or the NBA or something like that. I'm not saying none of that is wrong. But it's other things that we can be doing, too. In fact, there's millions of other things we can be doing. You know, we, we, we need that type of education, that type of knowledge. And we need to be showing the youth this instead of showing them bullshit. Because if we're not showing them how to better themselves, they self-destructing. They going to self-destruct. Period. Point blank. You know, and uh, the powers that be don't even give a fuck. They don't give a fuck about us. They don't give a fuck about our children. Shit. They'll give them diseases. They didn't gave us diseases before. Look at Flint. How dirty the water is. Shit. They don't care about us. They kill our women. Look at Sandra Bland. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and all Corrine Cor and all the rest of the women that's been murdered by the police and all the other men, too. They don't care about us on no level. They don't look, look at Tamir Rice. You know what I'm saying? They would kill our women and shoot our babies down in the street. You know, if don't nobody care about us, we have to care about us. We have to we have to get us right and we have to get us right now. The time is now. It's not later. Because uh, if we keep fucking around, we're not going to be here no more. Period. Point blank. Um, don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Let me know how y'all feel. Let's talk about this, black people. All right. Peace, love.